couple of weeks there were uh, some uh, new subscribers and of course I'm really happy so I want to thank you for subscribing to my channel and uh, also want to welcome you uh, here on my channel and I hope you will enjoy it I like to make as many art tutorials as I can I have every week a new tutorial and most of the times with some artwork and where I'm explaining how I make the artwork and sometimes I do a, a tutorial on tips and tricks so uh, but today I will explain to you how I painted this butterfly and therefore I used in the background the airbrush and uh, lots of uh, different colors I really really like this background it's a beautiful photo beautiful reference photo and um, yeah so I, uh, I need to paint this of course because it's such a nice nice picture and uh, for the butterfly I use my acrylic paints and I like to use the uh, liquid Liquitex basic acrylic paints and uh, those are paints are working great especially when you are um, in uh, layering and building up your colors those paints are my favorite uh, ones and uh, so therefore I used those paints for the butterfly and the little flowers the little blooms so I hope you enjoy here is the tutorial I started with a nice blue color uh, on a canvas and um, I'm building up from there I drew in my uh, flowers and my butterfly and I'm filling in those with a mid-tone gray so I could better define which color where should go with the airbrush and I'm starting out with a white color and that is for the um, oranges and the, the purples they will up, uh, show up uh, better and also some greens they will show up some uh, better on the canvas with a, um, a layer of white underneath them because those uh, colors are very translucent so if you have a translucent color and you will uh, have it uh, show up quite well in your paintings you may need a white underlayer depending on the first color you laid in there and it was this uh, mid-toned blue color but I wanted to uh, have some uh, quite some uh, lighter colors there so therefore I used that white and I'm basically trying to copy what I see even even uh, of also with the airbrush in the uh, background of this butterfly and I'm not uh, quite exact as, as the reference photo but I want to have the same texture with uh, within the colors and therefore I like to use some stencils and I will have a link in the video description if you are curious which stencils I use but I just like to make some texture there and I also needed some circles in and therefore I just use a uh, cheap uh, circle stencil and with airbrush it's it's really nice to make those uh, uh, backgrounds with uh, with the circles and uh, with the texture what I needed for this uh, for this piece and here you see me in uh, blocking in the shapes of the flowers and I'm once again not copying exactly the reference photo but it will give me an idea how the shapes are uh, uh, going on these flowers which uh, or where should, which color should go and I'm building up and building up my layers and therefore uh, like I um, uh, talked about earlier in uh, other tutorials as well is that I like to use a mid-tone gray it uh, gives me a nice base color to judge my value so therefore I most of the time start out with a mid-tone gray and um, yeah I'm not copying the air reference out exactly but I'm just blocking in the shapes and that uh, will give me that photorealistic look I'm not going for hyper realism I'm not uh, I have each pedal in the right place but just to um, just to give the indication of the pedals is uh, enough to give you that nice photorealistic look in the end and also I like to mention that my flowers are not that bright of color even though you see me using here quite some different colors I'm not hyping up the contrast too much because I want the main focus on the butterfly so later on and in the end of this painting you will see that the butterfly uh, is more detailed than these flowers but I want them to uh, to be there of course so uh, therefore I'm painting that in but not with too much contrast in the colors and in the shapes and also in the flowers where I want to use that, uh, that yellow and quite bright yellow I'm first using white and glazing over that uh, yellow later on and also I'm darkening up uh, a little bit uh, with the orange and the I think burnt sienna uh, in the um, uh, yellow areas of these flowers to hyping up that contrast just a bit so uh, to give it uh, the highlights more a feel of highlights and the highlights will only show up if you uh, darken the colors around the highlights enough 
and here I'm starting on a butterfly and I'm filling in the first lines and I'm starting with the lines because that make it easy that will make it easier for me to judge where my other details should go and like I said earlier on I like to focus more on the details on this butterfly so to uh, let it stand out more uh, of the rest of the painting so therefore I uh, have to be a bit more exact uh, with my details than uh, on the flowers and uh, yeah I found it easier for myself to uh, start and with the lines and then with the uh, darkest darks and in this case where uh, was that the black and it made it a lot easier for me to build up my other details and colors and I'm just layering in I'm not that exact uh, on this moment but i'm just building up with each layer i do i'm just starting to be a bit more precisely and i uh, will continue that process until i like it until i think i'm uh, i'm at the end of this painting and there were some nice nice colors here especially the oranges you will see uh, later on in this painting i really really like this butterfly and the way he has uh, been photographed i uh, i really liked it with a background and with this flowers and uh, yeah the butterfly itself is just a beautiful butterfly and you see me painting a lot with a liner brush i have a uh, different uh, liner brushes and different sizes of liner brushes and i have the liner brushes with the longer bristles on the end of the uh, the pencil um uh, the brush i should say sorry <laughs> And uh, that will give me uh, make it easier for me to make those details, and they hold more paint, so I can paint on much longer than when I would use a um, uh, brush with shorter bristles on the end of the brush. And I'm starting to get to getting in the uh, in, uh, almost on the end of this painting, so I'm uh, now focusing much more on those little details, those little uh, lines and I'm making also little dots on the wings and um, I, yeah, I'm building up those little teeny tiny details on this moment and I can also uh, glaze over them if they are a little bit too bright but uh, I want to be uh, more exact in this stage of the painting you see here all those little lines those dots I'm uh, I need that to give the to give the, the feeling of those um, those details there so uh, and um, I'm now on that stage like I said and I'm just building up a little lines little dots and adjusting the colors coming back with a few details hyping up some colors what I'm doing here now on the wings I noticed they were a bit too dark so I'm coming back and layering over them and yeah building up and making everything much um, nicer and the transitions between different colors are uh, very important so i'm uh, glazing over them with uh, with little sections and bringing in details and bringing a bit more color and that's the the process i'm repeating over again now and also using some blue in the wings there's a, uh, quite some, a lot of blue in the background and I'm glazing over uh, some areas uh, on the butterfly to give it a feeling of a one piece one piece altogether and this is the uh, photo of my painting and um, this is looks more brighter than uh, what you see in the video that's because of the studio lamps and I keep saying that because yeah to be honest I'm, um, I'm yeah disliking the how it shows up in in the tutorials but yeah I don't know how I can uh, fix that because I need those lights to be there otherwise I couldn't uh, just my uh, values and my colors uh, well enough so but uh, yeah this is uh, actually a picture that um, give you uh, quite some uh, good indication of how this painting will look in daylight so I hope you like this that tutorial if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below this uh, video and um, on this moment this uh, painting and some other paintings of mine are uh, in a uh, exposed in a nice restaurant so uh, this one is not at home uh, while um, you watching this video and uh, I'm really happy about it because I was asked and it's a beautiful location and there are I think about eight nine uh, works of mine who are hanging there now so I'm uh, really proud of that and, uh, but if you are interested in one of my paintings drawings, I uh, uh, would uh, ask you to go to my website. I have more information there about the works. And also you can uh, buy, if you like, some um, 
some prints of this one and also some postcards. So that will also be over on my website. And uh, like I said, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you like, you can follow me on Instagram and on Facebook and also on my own website. And of course, if you like, please subscribe to my channel. I would really like that. And I hope to see you at a next video. Bye-bye.